forward this from all these tall people. <clears throat> Switch pages to start here. Thank you, I'm honored and blessed to receive this prestigious award for sure. First thing I want to do is congratulate all of the other award winners and honorees today. What a great group of individuals and, and folks to be associated with on this wonderful awards and, uh, day that we're having here. I do want to thank Jim Carr and the NAI staff for all their hard work, for making the NAI a wonderful place for its administrators, coaches, and student athletes to thrive. I'd like to thank Colonel John Sullivan, Commissioner of the Appalachian Athletic Conference for his leadership, mentorship, and friendship. Also to my colleagues in the AAC that are in the room today and at home, thank you for all the support and friendship that we have in this league. It's really wonderful. I want to thank Dr. Mallard for her leadership, for her energy, for her love of higher education, but especially for her continued support of our student athletes, our administrators, and staff at Reinhardt University. She has made it an exceptional place. A big thanks to the coaches and staff back at home. <clears throat> They're a huge part of why we've had any and all successes at Reinhardt. To my friend, my good friend, and partner in the leadership of athletics, Jeffrey Porcher. And to the love of my life, uh, wife Jennifer, son Noah, who encourage me and support me, lift me up when I'm down. Thanks for allowing me to chase my dreams and live in the wonderful world of college athletics. Well, I don't have too much time left because I was given a time limit, so the NAI means a lot to me. I've had a relationship with the NAI since I graduated high school. I'm an NAI athlete, I coached, and now I administrate. And I would not and could not do anything else with my life. One of the things that I really love about the NAI and about my experiences in the NAI are the relationships. And I think we've heard that a few times today from the other award winners. You'll find yourself in conversations with the president of the NAI, other presidents at other institutions, people you have coached against, FARs, conference commissioners, NAI staff, and some of the closest friends you'll ever have. All in a setting like West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm not sure we can find anything better than that. I'll leave you with this. We're always trying to answer the question, what is the NAI? I think I found an answer just recently. We recently were having our, honor, uh, our uh, annual honors and awards ceremony, academic honors and awards ceremony on campus. And as Dr. Mallard was about to present our traditional student of the year, and uh, she began reading an essay that each of those candidates had to write to, uh, to apply for that um, award. So she announces the name Ian Schumacher. Now I'll set this scene for you a little bit. You can see Dr. Mallard back there. Ian's 6'6", 295 pound offensive lineman for the football team. And now he's standing next to Dr. Mallard as she's reading uh, his essay. But what really struck me is that not the amount of academic work that he had done, because he had, but the amount of extracurricular activities that he had accomplished. He was a starter in football, honors program student, served on the Student Ath Activities Council as SGA rep, resident assistant, orientation leader, helped start a fraternity, performed in two operas, did some tutoring in the Center for Student Success, graduated on time, but the icing on the cake was his quote that he left us with that evening. Through Reinhardt, I have found a love of education where I can share my knowledge in mathematics and athletics with youth. I believe it is my calling as my reason for life is to cherish every day and pour into others so that I can feel full. I think that's what we all strive for for our student athletes. Thank you for this great honor and this great day. Thank you so much.